Well, back in December of 2019, the school building authority was unable to fully fund the project of a new building for Stratton Elementary in Beckley. However, today, Governor Jim Justice traveled to Beckley to announce that the SBA is going to use their leftover funding to grant the $17 million to build. News Watch reporter Anna Saunders introduces us to a longtime advocate with a major cause for celebration. In a room full of state officials, delegates and dignitaries, it was Majorth Chambers who stole the show. She was on the Beckley Common Council for years, and she's been a longtime advocate for a new school building in her community. In the room, she was the oldest graduate of what the building originally was, Stratton High School, and she carries with her the history that building holds. Now, there was an all-black school, and I was here until 1954 when I graduated. It was a high school, a middle school, and it's been an elementary school. But because it is an older building, one half doesn't have air conditioning, and there are not a lot of capabilities for state-of-the-art equipment. Which is why securing the funding for the new school was a huge milestone, not just for the school itself, but for the entire area of East Beckley. So many times, you know, we neglect a need that we should step up and do. And today, thank God we're not doing that. So the new school will be built behind the current one on the football field and the original one will be torn down. The new State Board of Education President, Miller Hall, a Raleigh County native who also went to school at Stratton, says the new school will create a much needed sense of pride for the area and a great learning environment for the kids. And to be able, just be able for the community to drive by and see this wonderful new school, it should bring about pride, it should help our young people with their test scores and they can go up because now they got an opportunity to have what everybody else has. And for Chambers, she says her goal now is to live long enough to make it to the ribbon-cutting ceremony when the new school is finally open. But for now, she's celebrating this much-anticipated moment. We've been looking forward to this for several years, several years, and now it has uh, come to light, and I'm just as happy as I want to be. Reporting in Raleigh County, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch.